Just like there was competition between the Zenfone Max Pro M1 and Redmi Note 5 Pro, we now have another face-off between two phones from Asus and Xiaomi. This time it's between the Max M2 and Redmi 6 Pro. This is something from Rev Atlas and here's a comparison of the two devices. The Redmi 6 Pro is powered by a Snapdragon 625 octa-core chipset which has been tried and tested and is a decent processor, albeit dated. In comparison, the Max M2 comes with a newer Snapdragon 632 octa-core chipset and in terms of performance too, it seems like the Max M2 is better off especially since it comes with a lighter stock Android UI compared to the Redmi 6 Pro which has a new UI on top. Redmi 6 Pro isn't too slow but you definitely notice a difference in speed between the two phones. Both the phones feature dedicated microSD slots with dual nano SIM support and the Redmi 6 Pro and Max M2 both have face unlock as well as fingerprint scanners at the back. The Redmi 6 Pro supports dual band Wi-Fi while the Max M2 doesn't. But one major advantage of the Max M2 is the L1 Wide One support which allows for HD streaming of content compared to the L3 support on 6 Pro which doesn't allow HD streaming. You can get both the phones in either 3 plus 32 or 4 plus 64 GB capacities. Build quality wise, both the phones are pretty rugged and have metal bodies, but they take different approaches. The Redmi 6 Pro goes for a more compact form factor with a thicker waistline, while the Max M2 has a slimmer waistline but with a larger footprint. This also results in the Max M2 being equipped with a larger screen compared to 6 Pro, which we shall talk about soon. In terms of battery capacities, both the phones pack the same 4000mAh battery under the hood, but the Max M2 is slimmer. Battery life wise, both will last users an entire day of use and more, but the Redmi 6 Pro gives you slightly longer endurance. Both the phones look and feel good to hold and handle, but the slimmer waistline makes the Max M2 easier to pocket. In terms of screen size, you get a larger 6.26 inch display with the Max M2 with HD Plus resolution, but you get a smaller 5.84 inch display, albeit with full HD Plus resolution on the 6 Pro. The difference is mainly seen in terms of sunlight legibility where the Max M2 does better owing to the brighter screen. In terms of color reproduction, contrast and sharpness, they are very similar despite the higher resolution on the 6 Pro which is evident only when you look at it really up close. In terms of camera, you get a 12MP f2.2 1.25 micron sensor with a secondary 5MP depth sensor on the Redmi 6 Pro while the Max M2 has a 13MP f1.8 1.12 micron sensor with a secondary 2MP depth sensor. At the front, the 6 Pro has a 5MP f2 camera while the Max M2 has an 8MP f2 camera. There is also a difference in terms of max resolution for the video where the Max M2 supports 4K with the rear camera and has EIS with 1080p recording on both cameras while the 6 Pro has 1080p support on both cameras with EIS only for the rear camera. While both these phones are overall good packages, it seems like the Zenfone Max M2 is a better choice compared to a Redmi 6 Pro especially at the current pricing. A 3 plus 32 GB variant of the Max M2 would set you back Rs 999 compared to the 6 Pro which will cost Rs 11499. The dual band Wi-Fi and Full HD Plus display work in favor of the Redmi 6 Pro, but the better processor, lighter UI, HD streaming, 4K video recording as well as EIS on both the cameras and a larger screen with better sunlight legibility of the Max M2 put it ahead. We'll include purchase links in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.